philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You have the lions whose purpose is to get over here. amongst the lesser creatures. Then you have the Yellow! Catch! milk and flavor. Machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... In some way, he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? Oh. My husband? Come. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... <laughs> If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea.
That'll do! This is your fault! Money? Take it. You want to ask me? Ask me. About what? My finger. Uh, sorry, I didn't. It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak anything. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver. These people are like this because of think. everything. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Back at it. Or we'll see what's in that box. Oh! 
it. Go ahead. Okay. Out of my way! Understand. Some people are treated like men, and others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. through an army to get those tools. That the gunsmith was making weapons for the Vox. We squashed that gunsmith. Trespasser!
crack this one open? <sighs> Child's play. There. Argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and the Prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. Like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock house. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker. If Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. We just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? I'll give it a whirl. Done. Who are we 
really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi. It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place before. The box guns. There's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. Never see a forest at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Booker. Hard to think. Two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. 
We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. and Fitzroy. I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons. Or I created one. factory and get our airship. This isn't our responsibility, none of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did 
I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or, or did I create it? I told you, I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. Damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl. A human being. But do you know what thinks he? He sees livestock. He sees the dead. Don't get it! door open unless someone takes that airship out. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down.
Now to get off this thing. Take that elevator up. Bet it leads to Fink's office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? That's Roy and Comstock. <laughs> May Lynn? Mr. Lynn? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris, I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Um, uh, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative. Picking. Seems easy enough. 
All done. These holes have shown me yet another wonder, though I've yet to see the application for it. They illuminate a picture of machine and man. Obliged. It? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of a weed, you gotta pull it up from the root. It's the only way to do it. Elizabeth.
in the end. That don't square anything. Anna. Elizabeth. Anna. I'm sorry. L listen, I, I think you should talk to me. This is all they had. Listen. How do you do it? How do I do what? Forget. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. You just learn to live with it. So the moment of truth between us. New York or Paris? Find a way to make this thing go faster. It's gotta be some sort of some sort of throttle or accelerator. Do you know what that looks like? I don't know. Help me find it! No! Is, is. Try again. All right. Hold on. Here you are. Booker! You've got to stop them! No, that's the E. No, Booker, hurry! No, it's not. Play the whole isn't. song, he'll come isn't. back. Isn't. Is. Try again. No, you try. Hurry, Booker, <clears throat> hurry! Nope, that is not. Stop it! it. Stop Fine. it! You don't Here know you what are. you're doing! There it is. No. You've done it now. He's he's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? Of course. Well, at least they left the piano. Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The box are coming! We need to leave the dock! We need to push off immediately! The box are coming! Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox Populi ain't. I can't do it! I cannot do it! I'm sorry! You need to remove your belongings or we can't take any more people! The barge is in full weight! We're taking off now! Disembark!
Now! On it! This? Come on, give me something challenging. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? He was all I had. He fed me, brought me books. He was my friend. A friend? Until I grew up. Then I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. There. Look at this. That's where it's no better than Comstock. Was she? Uh, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it? Doctor ordered. business. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got here. A dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Mm. Well, none of the Prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. <laughs> yeah! the technology that allows the city to flow. Giant balloons. Quantum particles. Suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have had been. Had to have had been. That can't be right. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Come on. 
Comstock house is up ahead. Prophet shall sit the throne. He was grooming me, wasn't he? Comstock? Yeah, I think so. Why lo <laughs> Thought they'd stay on top forever. Ha! Look at him now! Out the room! Seems right up your alley. Looks simple enough. I, I hope no one has forgotten me uh, here. Got it. Uh, now back to the music. Stop. When we next meet, it won't be to parley. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been, uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pelt, I'll let him hold the knife. Do it! Done!
Much obliged. Elizabeth. On it. open oh, this won't take long at all ready that way now sure thing Check out the bookstore before we leave. Fire! Fly from the hand. Devil's kiss burn. Wicked and innocent time. Think you can pick this? No problem. There. Stock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy but probability. But his money. into Lutes Field could become the Lutes Tear, a window between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet, he keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If 
You put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it. You will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right? Ready.
Shop. What you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back, that's death, Mr. DeWitt. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Much obliged. There's a sniper, Booker. Take this, hurry. I'll see what else I can find. Take a look at this. Okay. Got it.
thinking about that dream that you had. You work on fire. There's something about it. Beyond that gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you! Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock? The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. <laughs> Where's the graveyard? And my mother's grave. Need some help with this. Looks easy enough. All done. going. Come on. What are we looking for? They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Look on the other side. Shepherd, and he has led you astray. Uh, what I do, uh, I do for uh, love. Uh, uh, what lions does uh, not cringe uh, to see their cup and pain, stop, but spare the rod, spoil uh, the child. Uh, if you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she go? Just hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear.
what am I? She's the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask? Well, the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives and lived will live. Dies and dies and will die. If we could receive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. 